We are using our keyboards every single day, but do you know for what are some keys like home, scroll lock, pause break and others? If yes, you can turn off this video, because you already know this, but if no, you are on the right place. Let's start with names of separate keyboard layout parts. The part of keyboard you write most of the time on is called alphanumeric keys. Above it are function keys. Next to function keys are special keys, for example print screen. Below them are edit keys like insert, home and so on. And underneath are arrow keys or direction keys. And next to arrows is numeric keypad with keyboard indicator. Some keyboards also have macro keys, special keyboard buttons like sleep, calculator or media keys for adjusting volume or for switching between different tracks. And now let me explain what already mentioned keys are for. First of all will be print screen key, located next to function keys. Pressing this key will take screenshot of current screen or screens and paste it into clipboard. Also you can use shortcuts like alt plus print screen, which will take screenshot only from active window or windows key plus print screen will save screenshot into your picture library into the screenshots folder. But the original use of this key back in the days was to send content of current text displayed on screen into standard printer port, usually LPT1 aka parallel port. In essence, whatever was currently on screen when the key was pressed will be printed. But did you notice that under print screen label is syst RQ? On modern Windows machines, you won't be able to use this feature, but this shortcut stands for system request. The main use of this was, or maybe still is, on computers running on Linux operating system allows the user to perform various low-level commands, regardless of the system state. It is often used to recover from freezes or to reboot a computer without corrupting the file system. Its effect is similar to computer's hardware reset button. If you still don't understand, imagine this as Ctrl Alt Delete on your Windows computer. But nowadays is this key used to provide debugging and crash recovery and is also known as the magic system request key. Next to print screen key is scroll lock. This key usually comes with light indicator above numpad to see when it's turned on or off. But the key is not frequently used, but it has some uses, for example if you are in Excel, with arrow keys you can go through different cells, but if scroll lock is enabled, arrows will move whole sheet instead of cells. But I don't think this is useful, but maybe some more advanced users are using this key for Linux console scrolling, special boot diagnostic mode, or debugging and on some computers partially replaced need of mouse. Next key is pause break. This is still very useful key for programmers, because if you are doing something in command prompt, computer is really fast and you sometimes need to pause displayed content and read what is on screen. Try to open CMD and type into the console dir s. This command will show you all the files on your disk, but it is extremely fast and when you press pause break, computer will pause scrolling and will be waiting until you will press something like escape or arrow keys. And now finally are 6 mystery keys. You may know that on computer we have two different text entering modes. First one is called overtype and another one is insert mode. Overtype mode is switch the cursor when typing overwrites any text that is present in the current location. This is useful when you want to overwrite something and you want to that new thing you are typing to have exactly as many characters as before that old one. Insert mode where the cursor inserts a character at its position, forcing all characters past it one position further. Insert mode comes as default one with Windows and in some programs can be switched to overtype by pressing insert key. Under insert key is delete key. This one used to delete or remove character ahead or beneath the cursor and also on many motherboards is used to open the BIOS setup screen when pressed after starting the computer. Next to these two keys are home and end keys. In Windows text editing applications it is primarily used to return the cursor to the beginning of the line, also by pressing Control and home at the same time, cursor will return to the beginning of the document. And if you will press shift and home, it will highlight or select the part of line or wall document as you can see on the video. End key has the opposite effect as home key. And page up and page down are primarily used to scroll up or down in documents. Also with these two keys, you can use shift key for highlighting or selecting text while scrolling. And last bonus key will be the menu key which is located in most cases under right shift between ALT and CTRL key. And what's the purpose of that key? Well, it is doing exactly the same thing as right click on your mouse. And its symbol is usually a small icon depicting a pointer hovering about menu. And guys, that's it. If this video was helpful, you'll know what to do. And I will see you next time. Bye.